I'll be sharing with you a very simple trick that you can use to make your image pop using Photoshop Camera Filter. Together, we are going to be using Camera Filter to apply separate color grading to our subject and separate color grading to our background, thereby giving it that separation and making our subject stand out and making it pop. Let's jump right into it. And I'll be leaving a link to the rough so you can download it and actually follow along. Now, I've actually done the screen retouching for this image. So after doing the screen retouching, I'm just going to create a stamp visible layer by pressing on Ctrl Shift button it E. Once I create that stamp visible layer, I'm going to come to my filter and just convert it to a smart filter. Now, the reason why I convert the image to a smart filter is so that if I make any adjustment inside of camera raw and I realize I want to change something, I can actually go back to camera raw and make changes. That's why I convert it to a smart filter. All right, now next thing we are going to do, just come back to your filter and just click on camera filter right here. Once this image opens inside of camera, first let's work on the background. So just come to your masking right here and select your background right here. This way, we are selecting just the background and working separately on the background. And there are three tools you can actually use to create that separation between your subject and your background. One, you can use brightness. Number two, you can use color. And number three, you can use contrast. We are going to be applying the three method for this image right here. Now let's start with contrast. Now with the background layer selected, I'm just going to scroll the way down and come to my contrast right here and just remove a bit of contrast from the background like this. Okay. And also come to the exposure and just take down the brightness of the background a little bit like this. And let's apply colors to the background. Now I want to add that blue fill to the background. So I'm going to come to my temperature and just move it towards the blue side to apply that blue color to the background as you can see. We've added that blue colors to the background. All right. Now let's work on the subject. To work on the subject, I'm going to come back to my overall adjustment right here. Now let's first of all fix the white balance of this image. You can see the gray tint of the subject. I don't really don't like it. So just pick on this edge about to right here and just select any neutral color in your image. So I'm going to select this white right here and just going to fix the white balance for me. As you can see, the before and the after. You can also do this. You can also do this manually. So let me just take it back to as short and just move the temperature towards the warm side like this. Also move the tint away from the gray side and move it towards the magenta side like this. Because if I take the tint towards the gray side, it's just going to add more greens to the overall image and that's not what we want. So you can take it towards the orange side until you feel it's okay for you. So I think I'm just going to use this actual tool and just select on the white parts and just bring back the white balance. I feel it's giving the best result. All right, so this is our before. And this after the next i'm going to do i'm going to scroll all the way down to calibration right here so this is our calibration tab i'm just going to open it just come to the blue palm array and just move the blue palm array towards the dark part like this okay so i think it's too much now i'm going to take it all the way down like this so like this works for me uh 15 works for me now this is the before and this is the after the next time i'm going to do i'll come back to my masking again and this time i'm just going to select the subject all right so I'll come to create mask and click on select subject. Now once my subject is selected, now to make the subject pop, I'm just going to cut my exposure right here and just add a little bit of exposure to make it pop and just take down the highlights a little bit like so. Take the exposure up a little bit more like this. Okay, now this works for me. So this is our before and this is our after. You can see the massive difference. Now I'm going to add a bit of colors to the dark part of the shirt. So I'll come back to my create mask and click on select people once i select people i'm going to select close and click on create mask and just add a little bit of blues to those parts right there to make it stand out also i'll come to the hair i'm just going to select people and click on select people again and click on hair right here now with the hair selected i'm going to click on create i'm just going to add a little bit of exposure to the hair like so and also i'm just going to desaturate it a little bit like so all right, so these are before and these are after. You can see the separation between the subject and the background. Now, I feel the background now. I've seen that uh, magenta feel on the background. I really don't like it. So I'll come back to the background selection right here and just add more blues to the background. Just like that. That this works for me to add that complementary colors to the background and the subject. So you can see the subject is orange and the background is blue. It just works better like that. So it works well for me. And I can just choose to reduce the exposure even more, like so. And uh, maybe reduce some part of the blues. I feel it's too much now. Okay. And this works for me. Now, the before and the after. If you feel you're okay, just click on OK right here. I'm just going to open up inside of Photoshop. Now you can see the subject is popping and separate from the background. So, these are before 
and this after if you feel it's too much you can just come to your opacity and reduce the opacity just like that so this is how you can actually make your image pop using color grading instead of adobe camera i made a detailed video explaining how i retouch this image right here click here to watch that video i'll see you guys in my next one stay creative